All right, everyone, because you've asked for it, it is time to do a showcase of the Hot Wheels Bugatti Veyron. I'm going to walk through these seven releases. There's actually eight official releases, but uh, one is just a variation of one of these models here. We'll get to that. But this is not a great casting, and I'll talk about it as I do the showcase. So I'm also going to uh, show you a couple of other Veyrons that I have in the collection from Auto Art. I think uh, while they're far more expensive than a Hot Wheels, they're also far better. So we're going to get to those as well. All right. We're just going to jump right into the box and walk through these. All right. I might have sounded a little depressed at the introduction of this video. I understand that. Maybe it's because I have my morning voice. I'm excited to show you the Bugatti Veyron. It's actually a very interesting model. It's just not a particularly good model. It's not a particularly well done model. As you look at the angles here, you'll see there's some serious errors here, some things they got totally wrong, which is a real bummer. But it's also, at this point, a 14, 15 year old casting. And I think Hot Wheels has gotten better and better and better. And I hope that maybe they can get a Bugatti license back and do the Chiron. I hope I said that right. Or maybe even redo the Veyron. I'd love to see how Hot Wheels would take on the Veyron now. Sometimes they get obsessed with things like large rear wheels and the Bugatti didn't need it at all. So while there's some things I like about this model, there's a lot of things I don't. Um, but it is very interesting. Released in 2004, this is the first release. Now there's variations on this one. There's kind of a, they call it the blood red. It was a different shade of red. There's one where the black is painted over the red. I think that's this one. Other ones where the red is painted over the black. Um, so if you're a serious collector, you got to pursue those. I didn't. I just wanted one. This is the one I got. Um, Cool things about it, I think the chrome grill is cool. You can see that piece of chrome shows up in the uh, in the um, dash over here. You can see that. That's kind of cool. Um, and then uh, chrome shows up again uh, in the engine in the back. So cool details, but the large rear wheels that don't fit in the wheel wells are the biggest disaster here. And that makes the Bugatti just... And it doesn't have that kind of stocky look that the Bugatti has. So it's, it looks like it's stretched out. So let's move on away from that one. All right, 2004, and then it just vanished for a long time, showed up again in the later 2000-aughts, I guess as you would say it, as a uh, mainline model. Now Hot Wheels is just doing goofy things. This is not a Bugatti Deco. This is the black with the red. That's a pretty signature look for the Bugatti, but this isn't. And I just, this is the time back in the 2000s to the 2010s, the Hot Wheels did almost everything with large rear wheels, almost everything outside of the first edition, they would start just putting whatever stripes they wanted to on these cars. And these licensors, I guess, would say it was okay, which they didn't. Why couldn't this just be silver with the blue inset in there and then be done with it? You know, maybe put some tail lights on it. But there was that one. That one is where that's where the second version is. I don't have the faster than ever version. It had the faster than ever wheels, which were these special speed wheels. I don't have that one. I just have the 10 spoke. Then it became a mystery model. And what? Like, why? Gold rims are fine. The yellow color is fine. Do the black insert or whatever you call it. I don't know. Like the black intake on the side. Just say it that way. Instead of these weird stripes. You can see how frustrating the Bugatti was for those of us who really like our cars looking proper. Second color of the mystery models. These are the ones that came in blisters, not in foil packs. They came in black blisters. And you have to look at the back of them to figure out what was in there. This white one's even better but or better than the yellow one. But again, why couldn't it be white with like the blue intake? I don't know. I don't know. I like the uh, color of the engine. And of the front grill. Kind of sloppy too. A lot of little paint pieces all over the place. Jumps in the main line again one more time. This one's better. It's a little cleaner. It even has headlights, which is nice. The first edition had headlights. And tail lights, which is cool. But then it, why couldn't it just be straight blue? Instead of the... Um, gray hood, but not terrible, right? Not terrible. I like the black five spokes or the PR fives. Um, this one's better. So first edition, good casting, terrible first edition deco. Good second release. Terrible uh, mystery models. Terrible. 
I sound really pretty negative today, I know, because it's just the Bugatti, it should be better. Um, this one's okay. Now, here's my favorite version. There's one that I can get behind. It was a Walmart exclusive. Now, before Walmart did the Zamax, they did these, just their own color. It didn't really matter what color it was. It was just a unique color sold only at Walmart, kind of like the Kmart colors. This one, it's so funny. You don't associate Bugattis with Walmart necessarily, but the best looking Bugatti is a Walmart car. Headlights, taillights, that's it. Satin red, beautiful color. If the cast were better, I think this would be in one of the best models they've done. Uh, it's just gorgeous. It it could have been a really pretty super treasure hunt. You could see the casting kind of was wearing out at the end too. Did you notice that the nose it just looks a little weird? Ten spokes look good. This is a great looking model outside of the casting. So I really really like this one. Notice the nose, yeah, a little sloppy there now. These molds wear out, and I think that's what probably did it is the wearing out of the mold, the fact that the casting wasn't great. Maybe Bugatti said, "Let's end this. It's just not going well." So they did one more version, the Speed Machines version. This is the most sought after. The Walmart and the Speed Machines are the models that collectors are most interested in. And so they are by far the most expensive. I think they go up over 100 bucks at this point. I don't know about the Walmart. Walmart probably gets up into the 70s, 80s. I'd have to check. It's been a while. I think the Speed Machines goes up close to that. Put a lot of detail in the Speed Machines. Love the co-mold wheels. Love the grill. Front and rear detailing, side detailing. The gold is cool. So yeah, this one I really like, but I still think the um, Walmart version is the best looking. But none of them are that good looking because the casting is just meh. It'd be cool to see Hot Wheels get it come back because they've done so many castings so well lately. Or to see even Matchbox take this one on. Why couldn't Matchbox do the Bugatti? I think that'd be cool too. All right, because this is what they can look like. Let me show you. This is auto art. Auto art is more known for their large scale, 118, 143, even larger, I think. Um, but they have dabbled in 164. Not that often, though. Now, if you notice, there's a slight difference in the rear wheel and the front wheel, and that's why Hot Wheels did it the way they did it, but it just didn't come out right. They probably could have proportioned it just slightly different, kind of like the Ford GT. Just the way they do the wheel wells probably would have made it look better. But you can see it's got kind of more of a flat nose, the Bugatti. These things are highly detailed. These are on par with Tomica Limited Vintage and stuff. But um, they haven't really done any 164 cents. But I bought this one. They did three colors, red and black, blue and black, and then this gray one, which I really like. And then um, this one, which I thought was so unique. And you can still find this one on eBay, the Dubai Police version. This is actually a real police car in Dubai. Cool, right? So I had to have that one. And there's a seller on there. I think this was commissioned by maybe the Dubai Police Department or some sort of toy maker out there. And AutoArt did it for them. And you can find these. Again, not, not a, they're not cheap, but they are worth it because they're perfectly detailed. So maybe Hot Wheels or Matchbox will come back and visit. I'm hoping that we see a Bugatti chairman come come from someone. There's a 7-Eleven line out of Taiwan that has it right now. That's It's kind of nice. I think there's companies that could do better. Hopefully like Kyosho, you bring it. I don't care. Kyosho, um, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, someone. All right. Some of the European companies would be even perfect too. Norev. There you go. I'll go back to my favorite uh, Hot Wheels because that's what this is the feature on. It's the Walmart. I hope you enjoyed it. You want to see the Bugatti, I'll do it. Give me some other suggestions and I'll work through them. I know Speed Machines is on the list of one of you. Um, I can do that one. I got some other things in mind, but we got lots to come this week. Talk to you later. Bye.